Man, I love Wug Trio. Easily one of my favorite decks ever to play. I wonder if it got any new upgrades with Shrouded Fable. Hmm, let's find out. So welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Life Shadow Fable deck video. And yes, today we're playing, of course, Wug Trio 4 Bad Deck Friday. Like I said, I cannot get enough of good old Wug Trio with its mill attack. It's so fun to play. And in fact, I think this card got some brand new upgrades with Shrouded Fable. The one that I do want to really try out here is that neutralization zone, effectively turning your Wug Trio into a Mimikyu with its effect, prevent all damage done to Pokemon that don't have a rule box by attacks from your opponent's EXs and V Pokemon. So in the late game, if you can mill your opponent out of stadiums or, you know, any way to get rid of the stadium, like vacuum or whatever, you can put that neutralization zone into play and Wug Trio effectively becomes a Mimikyu. In fact, all your one prizers become Mimikyu, even Mimikyu itself. <laughs> but yes, it's a really interesting idea to play this in the deck because of course with Undersea Tunnel for three colorless energy, you flip three coins, free to discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. So like I said, if you can run your opponent out of stadiums really quickly, you can put that neutralization zone down and sometimes just win the game. Now there are a lot of decks out there that can get rid of it unfortunately, um, but it is something that I am trying out in this deck and seeing if it's any good. Wug Trio does have to be a bad deck Friday deck because the attack relies very heavily on coin flips. You get the flip three coins. Sometimes you literally get three tails and you mill no cards and that can honestly lose you the game. But sometimes you flip three heads and you mill nine cards and that can win you the game. So a lot of really interesting things. Now, this card, of course, can attack for one energy with the help of reverse energy. When you're behind in prizes, it does provide three energy at a time. We're not taking prizes with this deck. So Reverse Energy is usually always live, but of course that does synergize with another brand new card, Coal Resist Tenacity, another great new upgrade to the Wug Trio deck. It does allow you to get a Stadium and an Energy out of your deck for free. Yes, I know, Kyurem, Go Burr. The only deck playing Kyurem is Reggie Drago, and that's already going to be a rough matchup due to Dragapult anyways. Another reason why it's Bad Deck Friday. This deck struggles into the BDIF, but Coal Resist does let you get an Energy for free. It's just a great way to find Reversal, because ultimately at the end of the day, you're just trying to chain attacks with Wug Trio and Reversal energy every single turn, which is why I really like having the Colrus' uh, tenacity in the deck. It does also get you a stadium, so you can literally use it to grab uh, Neutralization Zone and Reversal Energy, which is quite nice. And I like also having Zerosic in the deck. So a lot of the time, if your opponent at the end of the game tries to make a giant hand um, to then Iono cards back in their deck, so they have a bigger deck, so you can't deck them out, well, you can Zerosic them at the right moment. You time it well enough, you force your opponent to discard cards until they have three in their hand, which punishes and gets rid of any Iono counterplay that they try to do, which is why we are playing that one Zerosa, because these small upgrades do make Wug Trio a whole lot better. Now, before we do the video, shout out to the sponsor Card Cabin TCG, of course, if you're looking to get any Pokemon TCLI packets, get them over at Card Cabin. If you're looking to get any Shroud of Fable codes, or you want to get Twilight Masquerade, an older set like Scarlet and Violet Celebrations or whatever, or you want to get some IRL TCG singles and product, Card Cabin does sell all that over there. If you do get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, use code LDF, link down below. Also, check out my second channel down below. We actually just hit 16k subs over on the second channel so big thank you for that and actually i did want to mention we hit 64k on the main channel yesterday and 16k on the second channel which means i now have amassed 80k subs across both channels so i want to give a big thank you for everybody for all the support really enjoying the content grind who knows maybe there's going to be more ldf channels to come i'm thinking about maybe doing something with pocket tcg if that game ends up being good the pokemon pocket game we'll have to see how that all goes but i want to thank you all for effectively 80k subs across both channels big thank you for that but here is the list for playing in today's video uh, i'm playing a heavy bibrel count yes bibrel we all know the ldf lore ldf loves bibrel but bibrel is just kind of the perfect draw engine with squobit in this deck because really you're just trying to draw a lot of cards every turn you're trying to spam reverse energy and walk trio to keep up with that bibrel squobit does give you a good chance of drawing enough cards to find it uh, we also have blood moon in the deck blood moon is very important because at the end of the day if your opponent plays very passively and only puts like one pokemon to play the entire game you can just punish them by just attacking them with blood moon or saluna and win the game so it does give you an alternative win condition um then of course we do have the mimikyu in the deck just as a stall tactic a lot of the time you can also win with mimikyu if your opponent is playing very passively and they you know run out of you know outs to mimikyu and you prize neutralization zone or it gets you know, discarded early or something, and you had to play it down, it gets bumped. Well, you just Mimikyu in the active. Sometimes that just wins you the game on the spot. So I like having the one of Mimikyu. I do have some extra energy in the deck. I'm playing three DT, four Reversal, and some Psychic. Um, we might prize Reversal energy. We'll get into that in a minute. But the DTs are nice because you can use it with Blood Moon. It also lets you retreat Bibberl. One thing I find with this deck, sometimes the opponent tries to boss Bibberl and stick it in the active for a couple turns. Usually if I try to stall one of their Pokemon, they then try to stall a Bibberl out. So I like having the DT just retreat Bibberl. Um, also, if you go first, you can, you know, if your opponent has a slow start you can sometimes build up Wugtrio with dt and psychic energy but 
We also have the Psychic Energy in case we ever want to attack with Mimikyu. Rosalind's backup does allow us to get Reverse Energy back. It does allow us to put an Energy from the discard back into our deck and a Stadium. Unfortunately, it doesn't put Neutralization Zone back due to its effect that it cannot be put back into the hand or deck from the discard. But it's a great way to just get Reversals back. Very important, actually, if you prize Reverse Energy. Usually that does happen. Like, I would argue, like, out of five games, three of them, you might prize one Reverse Energy. So having Roseanne does make it easier to chain a Reversal Energy, which is really, really nice. And, of course, the help of Eerie and Misfortune Sisters is nice, too. We got three Colrus. We're not playing a heavy count of Iono because we don't want to always Iono the opponent because it helps them a lot of the time uh, put cards back into their deck to make their deck bigger. So that's why we are playing two Iono. But we do have the Colrus because it's a nice draw alternative in the deck. All right, with that all the way, let's go show off Wug Trio in action and see what it's all about now with these new upgrades. All right, unfortunately, we hit Reggie Drago, a matchup that I don't think is great due to the fact that we play multiple copies of Colrus. Um, and our starts, I mean, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's not actually that good. We don't have a... Uh... We were unable to find much for next turn, which is a little unfortunate, but we'll see what we can do in this matchup. Grab Manaphy, just in case. Do I go for the Dig a Little? I think I do, because I could whiff, and then I can maybe draw an Energy. All right, Dig a Little. I'm not going to mention Mimikyu. I don't want to clog my bench up, so let's just Dig a Little and hope the flip heads. Not even a heads. Honestly, it might not even matter, because like we could mill a Dragon and help them. I'm just going to hope they don't got anything next turn. Our hand isn't great. They can drag a pull me here and ruin my setup too. Like, it's just not great overall. They do have an Iono, though, which, as long as we don't just get destroyed here, this Iono is okay. It's not looking too good, though, if they do destroy me. Okay, not a bad hand. There's Ogre Pawn. There's another Drago. Could be good counter catcher food. We'll see if they have the V Star. And energy, switch energy for Teal Dance. Prime Catcher. Ooh, not my mana fee, bro. Hmm. It's a little annoying. Okay, I don't think they have it. Canceling Cologne. Oh, they're going for it. Bro, the Iona to Cologne Prime Catcher, bro. The Skill Diff? Skill Diff confirmed? No way, bro. If they actually cure me here. If, oh, my God. If they find the V-Star, they could actually cure me. That's crazy. What the heck kind of an Iona gives them Prime Catcher Cologne? What? They actually found the Ultra Ball? Bro. Okay, they have to lose an Energy Switch. Okay. This is ridiculous. If they find a cure off this Legacy Star, my opponent is just the best player, and they should have won the World Championships then, obviously. What? Bro, not like this. Bro, actually about to do me dirty? Dude, that's crazy. Wish I had a third Wiglet. Well, they would have probably left Manaphy alive. They cure him here. They have to kill the Manaphy and the double Wiglet. Because Bidoof's ability is live. That's why I grabbed this Bidoof, by the way. Okay. They didn't get rid of cure him. In fact, they lose a bunch of energy switch. In fact, they don't really have a... I mean, I guess they can dragon laser me. Okay, thank heavens. They did not find cure him. My god. It's ridiculous. They did lose a lot of energy switch. So, depending on what they get back here... Counter Catcher is pretty good on this other Reggie Drago. They did get Prime Catcher. Okay, I'm actually going to Eerie the Prime Catcher away, I think. That's going to be the plan. We're going to trap the other Reggie Drago, and then we're going to Eerie away the Prime Catcher. That is definitely the play. I like that. Get rid of the Prime Catcher and then trap Drago. They're on 3 E-Switch, so that's really good. Hopefully we can attack my opponent this turn. We can try to go Skullbit. So... Kind of wish I promoted the other wiglet now. Not that it matters. Okay, so. I'm going to rod first so I can make sure we still need to put Manaphy back into play. Because Kirim can still theoretically attack. Grab these two. I guess we don't need to school bit, right? No, I just grab bibs. We don't need Skullbit here. Because I can't... Because I have to attach the reversal anyway. It doesn't really matter. Kill Eerie. Get rid of that Prime Catcher. I need to evolve my stuff. That's like the important thing. We'll get another Wiglet. Because... They're probably going to drag up hold next turn. I mean, maybe. No guarantees. But just in case. Just so I don't have... Just so it just gets up with Wug. Which, thankfully, we didn't whiff the Wug. This feels kind of bad. We have to retreat. That's fine. Fortunately, we didn't get Counter Catcher, which is a pretty big whiff. I would have wanted to Counter Catcher Drago. But we can undersea Tunnel now. Which does help them get rid of Dragapult. But... 
We'll see if we can mill anything good. I mean, I'll take it. Grass energy is pretty good. That None of those were Dragapults. That's that's happy. Makes me happy. All right. Not too shabby. I definitely need to trap this thing if possible. There's a nest ball getting played. What are they putting into play? The Jover Pond? Yeah, that was a good eerie. Getting rid of the Prime Catcher there was very important. So we'll see what they can do this turn. They could kill my Bibberol here. We do have another one. We have Boss too. Next turn, we can uh, hopefully trap the other Reggie Drago in the active spot. That's the goal. Mew. Let's see what they got off this Mew. They have boss still, which is a little scary. Ew, retrieval. There's Kiram getting discarded. There's the Kiram going bye-bye. Hmm. Let's see what they can find here. They, have, uh, they definitely want to drag a pull me here. And the less, the less time they drag a pull, the better. Okay, nice. Doesn't have it. So there's probably going to drag in a laser mirror, Gudra mirror, whatever. Okay. Hopefully we can find another Wook Trio. My wig. Draw for turn. We can get to school bit. So let's put that there. Grab school bit. Do I boss or do I nest stash? I mean, we do play four counter catcher. It's probably better to nest. We only have three in the deck. And he's just not with Wug Trio. Honestly, I'm down at Nest Dash. Because I can find Counter Catcher. Like, we can... Yeah, we got Colrus. Colrus should get us there for Lucky. So, Bibberol. Mmm, we're not so lucky. Probably search Super Rod first. Try to maximize our draw outs here. Iono? I'll take Iono. We can see more cards that way. Okay. Please do not whiff Wug Trio. Come on. I need at least to get a Wug Trio here. Okay. We didn't get the Counter Catcher, though. So maybe a <laughs> no Counter Catcher. Where are they at, bro? What? Okay. Whatever. At least we got under Sea Tunnel. We at least can attack them. All right. Here we go. Mill time, baby. How many heads we getting? One. Two. Two's, a, two's not bad. Okay. The Dragapult got discarded. I still need to trap this thing. Temple Sinnoh is a really good discard. I didn't even notice they played that. That's pretty annoying. So I need to find Neutralization Zone and ASAP. We want to... I need to counter catcher this Reggie Drago. The fact that I didn't get counter catcher there is really annoying. I don't like how I didn't get counter catcher. I really needed it. Um, and they're starting to power up the Drago now. And, oh, man, they found E-Switch. So now it's less effective. See, if only I had it, bro. That really sucks. All right, we'll see what happens. See what they got. I need to make sure. Actually, I haven't prize checked. I need to check to see if we have neutralization center even in the deck. If we can keep track of their energy, maybe, and then trap Ogre Pond, I guess. It's not a bad idea. They have six energy in play, one in the discard, eight energy gone. Hmm. They're taking two prizes here. We could, honestly, we might have to bring in the other Reggie Drago. Now, it's probably best to bring in Ogre Pond because they might just run out of energy. We'll see if they KO Skullvid here. They're probably going to kill Skullvid. Yeah. Not finding Counter Catcher there is really bad. I could have bought myself a turn because they wouldn't have been able to attack. That's such an annoying whiff, bro. We're putting up a pretty good fight against arguably our worst matchup. Need this Neutralization Center, but the Dragapult kind of eats up my Wiglets. Of course, it was the next card. Why not? Of course. Might as well bring in the Ogre Pond. I mean, they keep spamming Counter Catcher. I actually don't think I can bench another Wiglet. Because we just lose the game to... Uh, we just lose the game to... Drag uh, Dragapult. Maybe we got Mimikyu? Neutralization Center is prized. Of course, it's prized. That's not good. They still fell Lucha, right? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, well, Roseanne's back up. I don't think it really matters anymore. We'll put these back. I don't know. I'm not going to bench Wiglet. I actually do. I have an idea of how we can play that. We can keep trapping Ogre Pond in the active spot. Because they can't win next turn currently. So let's see what we get. They can't win the game currently. All right. We need a bunch of heads here. Two heads is pretty good. I'll take it. Hopefully we run them out of energy. Let's see. A hole. Let's go. Three vessels, three energy gone. That's nine energy in the discard pile. 
Okay, they only have like one energy left. Let's see if they can find it. And they can't win this turn. So we can counter catcher the Ogre Pond again, trap it, go from there. Assuming they whiff the attack this turn. If they whiff the attack, then I wish I benched Wiglet, but I don't want to lose in the spot. I want to, basically they go knockout. I promote Mimikyu, attach double turbo. Oh, they don't have it. Okay, we might just win. This might just be GG's. Okay. Is there any other thing I can do? We still have like Misfortune Sisters. Okay. I still don't think I go for the thing right away. We can find Misfortune Sisters. We could win. Could deck him out if we find Misfortune Sisters. No, not there. I'm not going to mention Wiggler still. I don't want to lose on the spot. Okay, counter catcher. So, we'll, okay. So, we'll Undersea Tunnel. I mean, this is if they have... Well, they can't bench Lucha. So, let's go Undersea Tunnel. Can we win? Two heads. All we need. Oh, we had this spot. We had the opportunity to win. What do you mean? Okay, we milled an energy. Let's go. That was their last energy, I think. That's 10 energy gone. Oh, they might be out of energy unless they top deck retrieval. I think we might have decked him out. Let's see. Oh, man. We literally could have just won if we flipped two heads, though, against our arguably worst matchup. Come on, Wugtrio. Pull yourself together. We win. Let's go. Unfortunately, Neutralization Center was prized. That would have made a humongous difference in this matchup. But we got there in the end. We did it. Um, yeah, scary matchup for sure. But Legacy Star does help us. Like, if, if Drago kind of goes, like, balls to the wall and, like, does a bunch of digging, if they if they kind of fall flat on their digging, which did come in handy there, like, they didn't find Dragapult early enough, we were able to easily get to the point where we were able to um, kind of trap and deck them out. If they ever put two Dragos down and they don't build up both of them and they lose a bunch of E-Switch, it's really good, too. All right, we might have hit Ancient Box, which, to be honest, might not be the best of matchups because we don't really get access to our, like, A-Spec like, it's not as good anyways, but we'll figure it out. Uh, grab these two, I guess. Walk trio is There's one Walk trio prize. Eerie's in there. Is a row six. And there's row will be good in this matchup. The neutralization zone is in there. But like I said, I don't know if we're going to get to use it. Hopefully we don't get knocked out here turn one. That would suck. Um, yeah, we're up against Ancient Box, which they do some of the milling for me. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. If they play Petron, this is bad. If they don't play Petron, there's a world where we could trap a Greninja or something. Um, yeah, if they get a little greedy, we could trap something in the active spot if they don't play Petron. They might play Petron, though. And if they do play Petron, maybe we can mill it and they can't get it back. I don't know. That's my only hope. We'll see. Hopefully our Wiggly doesn't get KO'd. If I can start milling them before they take prizes, that would be nice. With Iona them next turn, Poke Gear. They get Explorer's Guidance. That's going to mill six more cards for me. I'm okay with that. Nice. Okay, so they don't have the attack. Zerosic will be good in this matchup, like I said, um, in the late game, because usually Ancient Box ends up just getting, like, a giant hand. And they don't play Hand Disruption. The low-key down thing about this, we aren't going to use our A-Spec. It doesn't do anything in this matchup. It just kind of sucks. Ooh, Brute Bonnet. Interesting. The Night Stretcher getting discarded is good. Shoes, yeah, keep on milling your deck. Go for it, I dare you. Okay. Let's see what they got. Just a pass. All right. Hopefully, we can get there. Colris. I think I still want Iono because I'm going to give him more cards, which I'm okay with. We can see more cards this way. We just need to find a Wug Trio. Ideally, Bibberl, too. Okay. Didn't get the Wug Trio. Hmm. Got Skovit Bibberl, though, which will have to help us. Misfortune's not bad in this matchup, but got to go digging. Got to find Wug Trio. So. All right. Skovit, help a brother out. Give me Wug Trio. It's not Wug Trio. All right, we got Wug Trio. Got Manaphy. I'm not really trying to bench Manaphy here. I'm just going to Undersea Tunnel. Let's see what we got here. How many heads we flip in today, Wug Trio? Two? Not bad. All right, I'll take it. Two's pretty good. What are we milling? Ooh, the Secret Box. Nothing too crazy. We milled a Sada. Not really that relevant, though. Superior getting milled is good. Like I said, there's a world where if we run them out of energy and they don't play Petron, we can trap something in the active spot, and it might be able to happen. There's a world too. Maybe they don't have another Sada. Maybe they uh, can't find Sada this turn and they can't do Hex Hurl. We shall see. We shall see. That was a decent Wug Trio though. It just sucks we can't use our A spec, but we are milling before they've we've taken a prize. They've taken a prize, which is actually really good. And in the perfect world, they whiff the attack again this turn somehow. Like if they don't find a Sada, that would also be good. Counter Stadium's a little annoying. Wanted to get another Wiglet down. We'll see what they do here. Do they have Sada? 
No Sada. No Sada. Yo, let's go. Okay, now we can Eerie, right? Yeah, I'm down to Eerie them. Palpad, you know what? I'll take it. That's a pretty good card to hit. We'll attach that. Grab another Bibs. Now it's a good Eerie. All right, this is what we need. We need this aggressive push against my opponent, and it's working pretty well for us. So let's go Bibberol. Nice. Artisan, we'll grab another Wiglet. We got our own pal pad here. Uh, I think we'll play it. We'll get back Eerie and Colrus. No, just get rid of this. Unfortunately, like I said, Neutralizing Zone, hate to get rid of it, but uh, it literally does nothing in this matchup because my opponent's attacks with one prizers. It is what it is. All right, we'll be roll for five. Countercatcher's good for next turn. Colrus is good, too. All right, this is good. All right, here we go. Wug Trio time, baby. Let's keep on milling. One. Two. All right, two heads again. Let's go. They're down to 14 cards left in their deck. They got Slitherwing in their deck, too. The Pokestop mill is nice. They run out of stadiums. That'd be good. I don't think that really does anything. No, their only attacker really is Moon and Flutter. Okay. They found a Super Rod. It would have been nice to Eerie that. They did top deck that. That would have been a really good uh, card to Eerie away there, but okay. 16 cards. They haven't taken a prize yet. I'm still pretty far ahead, I think. I think I'm still in an okay spot. All things considered. Now we can counter catcher their Greninja. They are down. Oh, they did Rod Energy back, actually. We still want to spam counter catcher against them. They could bring in the Roaring Moon, too, to be fair. Make them extend their energy even more. We'll see what our top deck is. Nice. It's good for next turn. All right, well, Artisan. Grab Wig. Colrus, just guarantee the attack. I mean, know their hand had like research and moon. Like, it's kind of clogged up. I actually think bringing in the moon is correct because they could whip the attack. It's very possible. I'm going to hold the hand too for next turn. So, I'll just hold. No, it's under C tunnel. All right, here we go. Let's get to milling, Wug Trio. What are you milling this time? How many heads? Two heads again. Not bad. All right, I'll take it. That's pretty good. Nice. We milled an energy. We didn't. Find a Sada, though. We did hit Shoes, though, which could get them there. We'll see if they can attack this turn. Assuming there's no Sada in their hand. When we played that Eerie, we had the knowledge. They didn't really have a Sada in their hand. There's a good chance they don't got anything. So we'll see, though. If this moon stuck, I mean, this I mean, it's looking pretty good. Like, even if they do attack, I mean, we, they have to take five prizes. I said the mill nine cards. Like, I don't know if they can win anymore, to be honest. It's looking pretty grim for my opponent. Yeah, they got nothing. All right, we might just win this turn, to be honest with you. Ooh, we'll just rip the sisters. We hit one card. They have a Kieran in the deck. All right, good to know. Try to mill that if possible. We'll Bibberol. All right. Under Seed Tunnel. I'll just hold the hand. Not really in a rush. Keep the counter catcher. What are we milling this time? Can we win? Nah, no win. Another double head. You know what, Book Trio? You have been consistent this game. Nah, yo, let's go. We milled five. Oh, my God. Five energy gone and the second Night Stretcher. Yeah, that's, that's it. They scoop. That's game. Let's go. All right. Broken Wug Trio. The Ancient Box matchup, it's uh, definitely interesting. It's scary for sure, but if you can, you know, if they have a bit of a slower start and they don't get things going, like, you know, in this game, I mean, milling them's pretty darn good. And we got to the point where they just couldn't get anywhere, and trapping that moon definitely paid off. They just never found a Sada because we milled it off the Iono. All right, hit Raging Bull. This is a matchup where the neutralization zone actually ends up being really relevant if they don't put Sandy Shocks in play. Now... Unfortunately, our start is a little underwhelming. Um, probably would have been better to go first, to be honest with you. Yeah, because they can just KO my lone Bidoof. Need a Poffin. Ah, oh, we'll see what happens. We can win this, but it's uh, a bit of an awkward start. Just needs need more basics. Okay, they get rid of boss. All right, I think our Bidoof should be safe then. It's a pretty good discard. But yeah, we make sure if we don't price neutralization zone, we actually get a lot of value of with that card in this matchup. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the boss discard is good. As long as they don't just KO my Bidoof turn two, it's all good. Because I need to get a Bibberol, because my hand is currently dead until we can uh, Industrious Incisors for some more cards. And yeah, if they don't put Sandy Shocks down, we can just stick Neutralization Zone in play, and we're chilling. There's Nest Ball. Grabbing what, though? Another Raging Bolt, maybe? I mean, if they want to grab Squawkabilly and, you know, discard their hand, draw six cards. I mean, they might have to. They have two cards in hand. Their hand is that dead, they may have to. I mean, they could always burst for, I guess. Two cards in hand. 
Yep, they're squawks. So they are squawking. But that's six more cards getting discarded, which is nice. Ooh, and the Prime Catcher. Holy smokes. Don't mind if I do. Those are all good discards. All right. Benching Bidoof is definitely on the agenda now. And hopefully it doesn't get killed. I mean, ideally we draw a Poffin or an Iona or a Chorus here. That would be ideal. But we'll, you know, we'll take our small, small wins while we can. And again, if we can get Neutralization Zone in play, it would be big. Especially if they run out of stadiums. Bull tends to play two stadiums. They could play a vacuum. Got to try to mill that too if possible. I want to have a turn where we eerie them. That would also be nice. All right, let's see what our top deck is. Oh my goodness. Mint top deck right there. All right, hopefully we didn't prize neutralization zone. Oh my. It's prize. No, I can't even use it in this game. That's really annoying that we prize that. Damn, bro. Hmm. That's a really bad prize. That's like how we win this match. Now we have to figure out a different route. We have Mimikyu, so if we can mill their Rod and their Sandy Shocks, we can try to just yo Mimikyu in this matchup. I, that might be the backup plan. It's very unfortunate that we had a prize, the neutralization zone. Such an unfortunate prize. Yeah. Hate to see it, man. Okay, well, we'll see if they can even knock me out here. Um, best case, I mean, if they don't, I mean, if they... I kind of want them to kill me because I put the energy on the bench guy. I can't really do anything next turn, so... It'd be better if they did. All right, they got Vessel here. Do they have the energy discarding card? They should have one way to discard energy and then go Sada. Zerosic's going to be good in this matchup, too, because their hand tends to get pretty big. Um, so Zerosic and them could also come in handy, which is nice. Man. We could try to take a prize, I guess, with Ursa Luna. That's not even worth it. I just think we just got super unlucky. We prized the the one... The best card in this matchup is prize. I don't know what to tell you. It's just... We're going to have to resort to Eerie, Zerosic, Mill Sandy Shock, Stick Mimikyu. That's our backup plan. That's unfortunately going to be the backup plan here. It is what it is. Oh, they benched that. We could have just won with Neutralization Zone, man. Are they going to bench that? No, they're not. They're going to keep the bench spot open. There's Sada. Hmm. Yeah, they got the KO. Could try to bring in the other bolt. And we could run them out of Sodas here. They are down their Prime Catcher, which is a huge discard. And if we can mill Switch Cart 2, that also is pretty good. We'll see if we can mill here next turn. All right. Let's see what they got. Anything else? Do they have a Stadium Bump? No, just a Bellowing Thunder. Okay. So, yeah. Our goal now, since we, of course, prized the, the A spec, is to go mill Sandy Shocks, Mimikyu in the active... Or we could just try to deck him out naturally. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the deck out naturally strategy, but uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. Okay, what's our top deck looking like? Hmm. Low key, that's really awkward that we drew that. I don't like that. I don't like that top deck. So we have to get rid of two recovery cards that just got wasted. We do have Roseanne, I guess, so. At the end of the world, I guess. Grab another Pokemon here. We'll get Squovid out of the deck. I'm not going to reveal the Mimikyu just yet. They see the Psychic Energy. They probably know I play Mimikyu now, but it's fine. Okay. We got Wug Trio. Reversal. Switch. And we'll... Might as well counter catcher this up. And we also may as well Nest Dash, because why not? Maybe we can get, like, an Eerie or something off this Nest Dash. You know, the best, best ever Nest Dash. Another counter catcher. Not terrible. All right. Undersea Tunnel. Their Prime Catcher's gone, so they got to switch this Raging Bolt or try to build it up with Sada. We got Double Heads. Not bad. Off to a good start. Okay, we mill Sada and Night Stretcher. Luminion's in the deck. That's interesting. Sada and Night Stretcher, though, are pretty solid mills. If they don't attack this turn, we could be chilling. And we can Counter Catcher the Raging Bolt back up. So, yeah. And the fact they're down their Prime Catcher means they can't just Prime Catcher and get big value out of it. This is looking decent. Now, let's see if they got anything. This can buy us a turn. That'd be pretty good. You know, they don't do anything this turn. They have to, like, burst roar. Well, they don't even want to burst roar. If they actually whip the attacker, this is huge. It's unlikely, but you never know. They can't Sada because there's no light energy in the discard. They have to... They have to, like, discard a lightning energy. We didn't even discard one. They had Sada, but this means they don't have the attack unless they're playing energy switch in the deck. Now, this is a good opportunity to play Eerie if I can find Eerie or Misfortune Sisters. Never mind. Unfortunately, they hit the switch card. Ah, it was worth a shot, though. 
They do play Lost Vacuum. Look at that. Now it's even worse. We prized the neutralization zone because they had a vacuum anyways. So they play the vacuum now. The zone could have stuck around for a while. Damn, that sucks. All right. They have 16 cards left, though. So that Sada did help us. If we can mill Palpad and potentially even Rod, assuming they're playing Super Rod, that would also be pretty good. Okay. Hmm. So we can find here. What's our top deck looking like? Poffin? Solid enough, I guess. I guess now we'll grab the Mimic Q to thin, so I want to make sure I don't whiff. What do I counter catch her? I mean, I don't think it matters too much. Might as well just bring in the Raging Bolt. I don't know. On the off chance they don't have a light energy here, I guess it's worth it. Okay. Gobbuck Trio. Gob Reversal. Ultra Ball. Furbiberal. I haven't even, can't even use the Pelt Pad. I have not seen a supporter yet. Where are my supporters? Okay, hopefully we can find one here. We're drawing a lot of cards. Surely we're going to find a supporter card, right? There we go. A lot of options, actually. Roseanne's pretty good. I like Misfortune Sisters here, though. Oh, what a hot Misfortune Sisters. We just milled four more cards. All right, all right, Wug, chill out. And Utter Sea Tunnel, here we go. Earth and Vessel was a good mill, especially if they don't have the lightning in their hand. All right, one. Two heads, let's go. That's not... 10 cards milled? That's not bad. Nice. 10 cards milled. Don't mind if I do. They only have 6 cards left in their deck. Can they keep up? Let's see. Like I said, that Mimikyu win con strat is looking pretty good. If they run out of resources, then the Sandy Shocks technically can't even be an issue if they have no way to really power it up. This is not going bad. Alright, this is looking decent. And potentially, if they have to move this Raging Bolt, if, I mean, they should have like a, at least a way. Well, they need Light Energy, right? They're down 3 vessels. We milled that vessel... They're down two retrievals, which they can't even use. We'll see if they even have a light energy here. They might have to be forced to Sada or Switch Cart. Yeah, they have to Sada. But now they just have two cards left in deck. So if they do not put cards back into their deck here, then we are potentially just going to win here. How many bugs do we have left? Still have a decent amount. We still have one line left. I got to make sure. Okay, they found the lightning, but they only have two cards left. Do they have a Pell Pad to stop them from losing? They don't have a Pell Pad. Okay. All we have to do here is find one heads off of... Undersea Tunnel, and the game ends. All we need is one heads. All right. Who needs Neutralization Zone, baby? We just need one heads off Wug Trio. Let's see if we can do it. Top deck, what's it looking like? Never mind, they scoop. Okay, well, it doesn't even matter. We got the dub anyways. Yeah, Raging Bolt, not a bad matchup, but this is where the Neutralization Zone really shines, but... Of course, we had to prize it, but whatever. They We won anyways. We got the deck out. We made it awkward for them with the help of Countercatcher and stuff. And we had some good mills, too. We milled a lot of cards that game. And there you have it, folks. That's my Bad Deck Friday updated Wugtrio deck. Like I said, I cannot get enough of Wugtrio. It is a lot of fun to play. And I do like the upgrades. I really like Chorus's tenacity and, of course, the Neutralization Zone. We didn't use Neutralization Zone in this video, which is kind of depressing, actually. I was hoping we were actually going to use it. The one matchup we actually could have used it in, and it was prized. But this card is still really good in this deck, in my opinion, and sometimes can just win you the game. If you run your opponent out of stadiums, and or you know they can't do anything about the zone being in play, a lot of the time it just wins you the game. And I really do like Chorus. Again, being able to find reversal energy for free is really valuable. So Chorus's tenacity also ends up being a really strong card within this deck. And even Night Stretcher, just an extra recovery card isn't bad either. Um, yeah, I like the list a lot. I don't know what I would change about it going forward. Like, maybe the Ursaluna is not necessary. It is nice, though, because if your opponent plays very passively and just, like, leaves one Pokemon in play, you can punish them late game by just going Blood Moon, right? So I still like the idea of Blood Moon Ursaluna. I don't know. Wookchoo is kind of cute. There might be other decks we can use Neutralization Zone in. Maybe Great Tusk Neutralization Zone could be kind of cool. I still want to get some gameplay with this card, but it sucks I never got to use it in this video. Again, the one game we could have used it in, and it was prized against Raging Bull, but that'll be for me on my updated Wug Trio deck here with the addition of Zone and Colrus. Let me know what you think of the deck down below again for today's episode of Bad Deck Friday. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 65,000 subscribers. Thank you all once again for full support on the content. We just hit 64k subs yesterday, so once again, big thank you for all that. Check out my second YouTube channel down below if you want to get some extra content over there too. Um, we're on the road to 17,000 subs over there too. That'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.